a lot, a lot of staff with yourself. We've got a lot of members of staff starting. Um, it's probably like uh, four or five staff. Four or five staff, brilliant. So, have you thought about security as well? Yes, indeed. Have you thought about how you're going to manage security? Um, I haven't, I haven't thought about it. How does it work, sir? Okay. Let me, let me tell you how to manage your security. So, what you don't want to do is having every... You don't want to have everybody going into the system, into, into the till, taking money out yeah. and giving refunds and voided lines, cancelling, ordering off. What you want to do is give them permission. So then you know exactly who's going in the till, who's taking money out, mm-hmm. who's paying the customer the correct amount, mm-hmm. who's making the mistakes. Okay. So each person will have your own login detail, mm-hmm. like so, clock them in. That will also clock their hours. So you haven't got to record their hours. That will do it all for you. Mm-hmm. And I know Kyle is a manager, and I'm going to give Kyle permission. So then I know, for example, if I'm serving you and I want to give you some money off, it will, it will go through. So those permissions will stop that, that, that theft, the security of deleting items and everything else. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, go on. I'm listening. Yeah? Can you hear me, okay? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. So, on the left-hand side will be your products. This is very easy, customised to yourself. So, this is, they're all different. So, yours would look very similar to this, but you'd have your own categorised buttons, own details set up for your business. So, for example, your beers, click on the bottle of beers, droughts, and up pops the different op- options here. Anything you touch, the screen will appear on the right hand side like so. Go into the breakfasts, you can then see different options. Go into the grills. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that's in order. Yeah. Have you got a lot, lot, lot of table plans? Have you got all the people sitting there? Yeah, yeah, indeed. Like, yes, yeah, we've got different, different menus, different tables, and all that thing. Like, we. Yeah. Yeah. So what you have here, we want to put that to a table nice and easy. You click on the table, one second, and then you put it onto a table. Click new, then that then pulls through that information. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. That's, that's our table one. Mm-hmm. Each item, onion rings down to the car, and you can change price increase by clicking the amount, mm-hmm. by clicking the plus and the minus, like so. Mm-hmm. The X is the obvious one, will take off the order. A little tag gives a discount region. That's where you can then control who's going through and who's giving out discounts, okay? Mm-hmm. That's an order. Okay. If you press pay, then you, then, then you go through to taking the card payment or cash payment. If you press the order, the blue, mm-hmm. that then gets sent, that then gets sent to okay. the kitchen okay. printer for yeah. the chef to start making. Okay. Okay? Uh-huh. So let's just pay for that. Here is your tender, your tender channel. You'll put here your, your, the amount. Yeah. Here in the top left is your options. Your options to do discount the down for the total order. You need to uh-huh. press pay. Uh-huh. And then the receipt will be printing on your receipt printer, not your receipt. Uh, it will be on your screen. It will be on your receipt printer. Uh-huh. No, the, no. What about like if you want to split bill? Uh, can can we do the split bill, merge table, anything like that? Yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Let's just put something on here. Uh, order, and then I'm going to go mains. Like that. Order. Table. Merge tables. And then you're back to the, and that's now on there. All right? Yeah. And then they're both on that, they're both on that, both on there. Can you come, you come back there? I didn't see that part. Is, just, is it possible to come back and see the merge table? How does it work, sir? See, so top right, merge tables. Okay? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, I can see it. So, um, are you going to be running like table bar and like like um, tabs as well? Yeah, so you know when the waiters take on the tab to the customers and that kind of, I'm looking or something like that. Yeah, what are you using, sorry? What are you using? No, I mean to say, like, yeah, when the waiter takes to the tab to the customer and he takes the order from the customer. Yeah. Did you get my point? No, say again, sorry. I can hardly hear you say that again, sorry. Um, I was saying like, you know, when the, when the waiter goes to the customer, he takes the order from the customer on the tab. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the print goes to the kitchen and from there the kitchen, the cook prepares the food and all that so, thing. Yeah, you mean an ordering tablet? Yes, indeed. With that. So, uh, so a customer's at the table, I brought over my ordering tablet yeah. and I take the order at, at the table yeah. and that gets sent over to... The kitchen printer, is that correct? Yeah, that's the one, and it yeah, goes to yeah. the yeah. We actually, we actually use a, Ge a Google Nexus Seven, which will have our software onto that onto that handheld. And you can go and serve a customer, take the order, send the drink, send send the drink order to the to the bar printer, or send the uh, food order to the kitchen printer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me just be happy with it till we've been out. You know, you happy with this? Yeah, this that's fine. Excellent. Excellent. Reports and like we said earlier, okay. So you're seeing what customers have spent. This page here is the dashboard, and this is where you're going to see all the information which has gone through the business for the last 14 days at the top, last seven days, and that can pour through that information by the week, by the month, and you can then see all those different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very, 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 very. Um, an interactive way of finding out very briefly what has gone on. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, total transactions, total sales, or stock market, your margins you're making, and again, your returning customers, and even your best sellers. Now, anything you click on will pull through that information. So, total sales is pulled through that time period for that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. That's the information here. All those different lines you can look from C. Mm -hmm. Scrolling down, the most important thing, end of the day, is your bank balance showing the net sales. Click on the 1455 in blue, and that then pulls through the, all the products you've been sold. Mm -hmm. Like so, okay? Yeah. And take that one further. If you wanted to export that data, some of our customers love this opportunity to have that information mm -hmm. exported out. They can keep it locally. They can have it on them. You know, so they can file it away. Just export it to a CSV file, to a Word document, Excel spreadsheet, or a print option. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's very handy. So that's on the sales, the transactions. The obvious one you can see completed. You can then see the orders today, order yesterday, yeah. nothing order on Friday. You can really start pinpointing down what has been sold. Mm -hmm. Anything you click on, you can see show items. So, just looking at this, is there any reports on there which you think would be really handy to have? No, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Is is there anything like yeah? No, you know when when you keep a hold of the payment, can can we hold the payment for a while? Yeah. How does this... Um... So, I'll just show you. There are mm -hmm. a couple of orders here. You can hold the payment. So, hold, hold the payment, and then press back. Oh, okay. Or pending. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, would you think that would be quite handy to have all this information for yourself? Would that be quite handy? Yeah, that's very that's really good. That's, that's really good. And another thing is, um, um, what is it? What's the sales, stock, customer, banking, all this stuff? Yeah, exactly. This. Let me show you. So, on the accounting, yeah. end of year, 
Mm. Payroll, you can track and see everyone's the hours they've worked, the show hours, the wage, mm-hmm. time they've clocked in, okay. end of year tax. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Accounting, banking, all that information is on here as well. Mm-hmm. And where you add a product in, you can add the product, go to management and add in those products yourself. Very, very, very simple. Okay. Adding in a product, and then just fill in the blanks at the bottom here. And what's in the system is, is all done. So it's very, very simple. So, what are you, what are your thoughts to this? Is there something you think? You know, obviously, this is one of the best systems on the market. Is our own software? Would that be very cheap? Or would you like to have this in system? Yeah, of course. It's quite good. Yeah, um, I would like to Excellent. have. It. Yeah. And you know, okay. what about the stock control? You said like you, you can do the stock control as well. Yeah, of course you can. Stock control. How report. does this work out? Yeah, on the stock, see what um, levels of warning, which basically mean you can set minimum and maximum levels to that product. So if it gets sold for half a percent, uh, below a certain level, you get an email prompting you that you're going out of stock. So what this will do is keep you a running total of what is in stock. So it's a very, very, very clever way of managing your business mm-hmm. um, without even doing it yourself. All right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just need to update that the... Uh, this thing, the stock details and everything there, and it'll get, get the uh, what do you call uh, the pop up or the message or what or email or what or it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And if the if the stock goes down, the stip, uh, yeah, you get an update. Yeah, the stock goes down, it, it will be updated. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So any other outstanding questions? No, this should be fine. Yeah. Mm. And you said like we can take the history, the report, uh, web report or what? What report did you say that one? You check the re- You said that we can check the report anywhere, sitting anywhere. Yeah, so if you go on to your laptop at home, mm. all you would do is go on to www.epostnowhq.com, and that would ask you for your login details. That's your software, password, and account details. Mm-hmm. What do you have that? You log in. And then you will see all this screen here, all of this. You see all of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So I would, now, I would be having my own uh, login details and password. Yeah, you will. You get once you make payment. Okay, we give you your login details straight away. Okay. So then, so then you can't. Uh, then you can start adding in products yourself straight away. You haven't got to wait till payments um, till the system arrives. You make payment straight away. Your login data is sent to yourself, and then you can start playing around the system, start going on this, start adding the products in way before yeah. you get the product. So that's very, very important, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, that's true. How does this work? Though? How how many days it requires to install in the system? Well, we actually had an email from our dispatch manager this morning. There are set dates that we can't get orders out to in the system because it's just too busy on the volume. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, ideally, what I need to know what your payment process is because the finance can take a little bit of up to two or three weeks which might push you over to, to, to in January now you do um, the main main part is about the payment how does it how do you guys um, um, to charge for this what, what, what for oh, for the software so what you get the complete software what I've just shown you today yeah is £1,199 which also includes the 15 Samsung touchscreen monitor also includes the cash drawer, also includes the receipt printer. So that's eleven hundred or one thousand one hundred and ninety nine pounds. That's X fat. Okay. Mm-hmm. The ordering tablet is five nine nine. Yeah. So it comes in at one seven nine eight. Plus the one two nine two four nine for the kitchen printer. So you're just over two thousand pounds. So including everything, this whole setup. Yes, it is. And then we have actually at the moment doing a, a half price on site. So an on site normally is, is normally for, for £300. We're doing it for £150. Which basically-